Hello. In this recording, I'm going to share with you uh, one experimental ripple that we have with basically a project to build a model context protocol server to enhance the capabilities of a large language model, allowing it to connect directly with uh, one API, in this case, using the ACE data model API. In this ripple, we basically have one .NET project and this project is, is building this MCP server using this model context protocol library. And through that, we add some tools. These are the tools we have. We have mainly three specific tools. One to authenticate, to manage our token. Other one to connect with a data model. And other one to render a designing viewer. The scope here, the workflow is quite simple. We basically, from uh, the acquisition of a token, we can then query our hubs, projects, and element groups using AC data model, and also query uh, elements based on the their categories. For example, if we want to query walls or windows or any other category available in our designs. Later on, we can also use this approach, use these uh, uh, specific tools to perform two main tasks. One is to render a model in the browser, and the other one is to filter uh, elements from the model compatible with what we see in the response of our queries, okay? I'll be using Cloud Desktop to achieve this, so you can perform the same. And the readme for these people, you have the instructions on how to address this. Uh, in the first time you, you do that, you might need to go through the developer, configurations let me just open it once more here I'm going to finish my task but let me open once more here okay Just making sure that this is in English. By default, it communicates with uh, with me in Portuguese because of the configuration of my operational system. But you can also do that in English. So first of all, you might need to manage the the configuration of developer. So to do that, you can click this option to change the configuration, and this will point you to this config file here. In this config configuration file. You can then add your own uh, MCP servers. To add this MCP server, you might just need to uh, add this option here. By default, it comes with nothing, so you just need to copy this value here, uh, this JSON uh, context here, adding a name for your tool, and then uh, specifying, in this case, we are using .NET, with the path to our CS project, the local path to our, your CS project. I'll have this. Uh, added in the, in the readme, so don't worry about that. Once you do that, then you can take advantage of these tools. So let's first take uh, tell you to obtain a token. I need a token. Uh, it's going to automatically identify that it needs to use a tool for that, and then I will need to grant permission. So through this tool, it is going to generate a token using the Autodesk Platform Services API. And once I do that, and allow, here I can see my token. Now I can perform the other tasks, because all of the other tasks uh, require a token. So I can, for example, ask uh, my hubs, list my hubs. This will connect with other tool, and only at first, it will also always need to allow access to this tool from within this chat. This is because I just open a new chat, and then there is this. Uh, it is going to use the the tool specified with the token and return that I only have access to this specific hub. Since I only have one, I can ask it to list my projects, and then it's going to connect with the specific tool to list the projects using this previous hub URL. 
Now from the hubs, the other two that I have here is a to list the element groups. And for that, I need to specify one project. So let me list the element groups from this project here. Uh, list the element groups from JM tests. It's going to connect with the proper tool using this project ID. And then it is going to uh, return all of my element groups. Okay, and from this point, I can uh, start asking for the elements of one specific design. Let me grab this one because this is a complete one. Uh, I can first ask it to render this design. And then it's going to connect with the viewer tool to render this design in a in a browser. So if I remove this here, okay. It is going to render this design. And now I can ask, uh, list the walls from this model. Then now it is going to connect with uh, the AC data model tool to list the elements from the walls category available in this element group. Once it finds it, it's going to list for me the walls here. And later on, I can also uh, highlight the walls available in the response in this viewer context here. And it's doing that, taking advantage of the external ID. So he's asking, would you like me to highlight? Yes, please, the specific walls. Once I say yes, it is going to use WebSocket to highlight these uh, walls in the viewer. Let me be specific. Yeah, now it is highlighting. It is taking all the external IDs from the walls that I that were listed. I have a limit of 50 walls just for this experiment. It is still listing the walls from the result of the ACE data model query. And then this is going to pass this list to the viewer and highlight these walls. Okay, and these are the walls that I have here. Uh, let's say that now highlight only the concrete walls. So it will try to highlight only the external IDs from the walls with concrete applied in the name of the material. And all of that is based on semantic search. Uh, now if I can do this something different. Now show me the doors. And then it's going to do the same query you from this element group, this design, to retrieve the list of doors available in that element group. Once again, it is going to, after finding all the doors, it is going to list the element IDs, the external IDs, and pass it to viewer to highlight in the viewer the same doors. Okay, I have 21 doors available in total. Okay. Let's say, for example, the now show only the glass doors and generate a dashboard with its properties. Now you should focus only on the glass doors. And it is also using uh, custom uh, charts, building custom charts with uh, only the elements that I, that I ask it for. In Viewer, as you can see, we only see the glass doors. It seems we have only three. And it is also automatically generating one uh, dashboard for us also related to these specific doors. And in here we can see four, maybe someone was not highlighted here. 
and we can see uh, details about these doors. Okay? Please share uh, your feedback on this, your thoughts, and yeah, if you have any suggestions for improvement, feel free to reach out.